let the peace, love and blessings of Jehovah God and his Christ be upon the entire world. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Power over the nations. Everlasting gospel delivered to the entire world by the Holy Spirit of Truth, leader Olumba, Olumba, Obu, the supernatural teacher. First lesson, Philippians chapter 3, verses 7 to 8. But what things were gained to me, those I counted loss for Christ. Yea, doubtless, and I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but dung, that I may win Christ. Second lesson, John chapter 14, verse 12. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the work that I do shall he also do, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. Golden text, Revelation chapter 2, verses 26 to 28. And he that overcometh, and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron, as the vessels of a potter, shall they be broken to shivers even as i received of my father and i will give him the morning star introductory spiritual chorus all things shall pass away i say all things shall pass away but my word shall never never pass away man cannot see god brethren today you have come to the realization that everything shall pass away but the words of god shall remain forever i bear testimony about these words of god and you all are my witnesses today about the words you are hearing now be careful about what you say otherwise you shall find yourself where you least expected because of your utterances also be careful about what you do otherwise you shall miss this kingdom do you always desire to see with your eyes, hear with your ears? Then open your ears and listen very attentively because the eyes cannot see God. I make this point of correction to all of you here present and indeed to the entire world. You are fond of saying that you have seen God face to face. Is that not a big lie? Have you seen God face to face? I have never seen him. Nobody can see God face to face. For the scripture says, Blessed are those who do not see but believe. Nobody sees him, but whosoever believeth in him has seen him. Take this point of correction. I am now giving you. Do not say. I have seen him face to face and even dined with him. Such claims are false, but it is a very simple fact for someone to believe in him. Again, it is simple to practice his injunction. This day's gospel serves as our witness that whom whosoever surrenders himself to God shall see the reward. Do not say again you have seen God face to face, but say that I have practiced his injunctions and received his blessings, and through this you have received what you wanted. Read the golden read the first lesson again. The first lesson, Philippians chapter three, verses seven to eight. 
But what things were gained to me, those I have counted lost for Christ, yea, doubtless, and I count all things but lost for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but dung, that I may win Christ. God is power. Brethren, who do you think Christ is? Who do you think God is? If Paul said, I count everything lost and look at all things disdainfully for the knowledge of Christ Jesus to be his, what do you think this knowledge is? I am correcting you for the last time. This day never you say that you have behold God's face or behold his back view for the kingdom of God does not consist in vain talks but in power. What is Christ? He is power. Likewise God, can you behold power face to face? Or can you behold Christ face to face? All these are corrections that I am pointing to you so that if you do not forsake all things, you cannot possess this power. Paul forsook all things such as money, knowledge, etc. for the sake of this power. Because when you possess this power, you have equally possessed Christ, you have possessed God, you have possessed honor, glory, as well as the head of all things. What is the Holy Spirit? What is Christ? And what is God? They are all power. Do you now understand? Who do you now say that you behold him face to face? Or is back view? One plus one equals what? The answer is one. God is one and not multiple as people construe. He has never deceived us. That power gives you food, clothes, wealth and good health. He is the father, he is the mother, he is life and everything. What can power not do? If you surrender yourself to him completely in truth, he will endow you with this power and consequently you will possess Christ. What do you lose for you to possess all riches in this world but lack power? The smallest thing like an ant can frighten you and you will run for your dear life. Anything you see disturbs you. For you to possess this power so that you can march over lions, walk on top of the fire. When you talk, all things are subdued. Which one is greater? This is what I preach unto you every day, but you insist that God should give you money and other mundane things. For Paul said, I have forsaken all things for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus. Paul wanted power. Do you think Paul's quest for power is for nothing? Power is God. What do you think Christ used to overcome the whole world? What gives us this peace? What do you think is knowledge? What do we preach all day? He has come to endow you with power for whomsoever overcomes and do his work till the end. God shall endow him with power to rule over nations. If you are given a small child to rule over you and you lack power, would such a child not overthrow you? He will definitely kill you and eat you from your flesh and nothing would happen to him if you are given money but you lack power. Would such money not torment you? 
This kingdom is nothing apart from this power. The power is God and God is power. All along did you have this knowledge? Even you here, do you see the power in you? Are the Christ witnesses and Christ students also able to identify this power? Have you seen this power and glory? For the more you look, the less you see. You have to work in accordance with the directive of Christ before you are endowed with this power. When you say, I have been God face to face, those who know God will conclude that you have not known God. The glory of God does not consist in drink and food, but in power, brethren. This correction is very good because we are judged or condemned as a result of our utterances. If you forsake all the things of the world, God shall endow you with power, which is Christ, and God will reveal himself to you and you shall overcome the whole world. Read the second lesson again. Second lesson, John chapter 14 verse 12. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I shall do, he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. Brethren, has the text read been fulfilled in the Christ's witnesses or not? You are all times pray, you at all times pray, God, to give you money, your children, motor, house, land, and so on. When Christ was erected, he said, all power in heaven and on earth has been given unto me. What we lack is power. Is that assertion not true? Is the power not Christ that you are searching for? Is power not God that you look for in all places? The scripture said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also, and greater works than these, because I go unto the Father. I want all of you to ponder over this statement. Spiritual Chorus I was given power, I was given power to overcome all my enemies. Brethren, Christ told his disciples to go and wait till they are given the power because all along they were powerless hence their inability to achieve anything initially. What can the whole inhabitants of the world do? Even though there are as many as the sand on the seashore, if you threw a blow at them, they would all disappear. They only make empty noises. This week is Christ National Witness Week and it is great indeed for you to desire for what is not obtainable but that which is obtainable you desire them not. I do not think any of you desire this power. Do you not know that God is power, but you look for him in heaven and on earth, in the moon and in the sun? Since you desire for what to see face to face, how can God say, here I am? If he claims that he is God and you push him and he falls down, or you slap him and he disappears, truly, is he the one? An illustration of this mighty power. Brethren, there was a certain brother by the name of a pharaoh who was one of the disciples of Christ. This a pharaoh was very powerful so much 
that he made a vow that he will worship whosoever is more powerful than himself, that if he did not see someone or a king who is more powerful than himself, he will never worship anyone. One day he sojourned in a certain village and there was a river which linked other villages. The river could be likened to that of Calabar and Oron River. Canals was used as means of carrying people across to other parts of the village and this canal carries 50 people at a time. While there he saw two kings waging war against each other. On seeing a canal coming to shore with passengers, he used his left hand to carry the canal across the other side of the village. This man decided to station himself at the riverside so that he would carry whosoever wants to cross to the other side instead of the canal carrying them across. He decided to stay there till the end of the war so that whoever wins amongst the two kings he will live and work for such and in a situation where none of them win he will continue to remain there as people come to cross to the other side he will carry about 25 of them in one hand and on the other hand another 25 people make a step forward and then carry them across the river People were surprised seeing this type of superman. He continued in this way, transporting people from one side to the other side and vice versa. People, if people were less than 50, he will decline taking them across until they are exactly 50. He waited for a particular king who will overpower him so that he can worship? Do you think that Christ is a mere human being? Someone will move about carelessly, but if a small pin should pinch him, he falls headlong for the ground. If he is pursued with cutlass, he will run begging for help. But he claims to be God. Is it not? Is it true that you are a God? Brethren, as this man continued waiting for someone who would challenge him and if possible defeat him, one day he heard someone calling on his name. Afaro, come and carry me across. As the voice penetrated the thin air. Behold, heaven and earth were quaking with thunder and lightning vibrating everywhere. This man was terrified for this type of happening and in a short time the day turned to night and the whole place was darkened. Thunder and lightning were the order of the day. Then he saw a young man clothed with shorts and sleeveless shirt. This man begged a, a pharaoh to carry him across, but he said that he still needed about 49 people to add. But the young man insisted that he should carry him across, and reluctantly he bent down for the man to sit. As this man sat on his shoulder, he stumbled and fell down. He was surprised at what he saw and witnessed. Immediately the young man turned into a palm tree and sat on his back. Hafaro was surprised at his inability to carry this palm tree across the river. Bredwin, it took him about three hours to carry this palm tree across the river and as the young man made to go his way 
the superman begged him not to leave him alone that he was all along waiting for him a pharaoh proclaimed that he had seen the greatest and that he had promised to worship any person greater than himself because of this a pharaoh gave up his title as the greatest and told the young man that he was going to follow him and the young man was no other person than our lord jesus christ our lord jesus christ from that day changed a pharaoh's name to christopher meaning that a pharaoh has changed over to the side of our lord jesus christ this is to show that the greatest is the power of god the greatest is the power of our lord jesus christ since visions prophecies have been said about this kingdom that many kingdoms shall come we have no witness that a particular kingdom has come which has overtaken other kingdoms and this is brought out of the cross and star which shall reign forever it has come with power and glory now that this power is in existence those who believe in the power being god himself shall be given power to do greater works than christ as stated in the scriptures members of brotherhood have consequently been endowed with power except for the lazy ones who are not ready to do the father's work blessed are those who believe in god brethren blessing shall follow those who believe in god but those who do not believe in him cannot see nor have god there is no extra power anywhere neither does god need people to praise him most people boast about the fact that they are bishops they are pope and so on they make a lot of noise boasting all in vain because should a small snake run across their way they will run helter skelter hence you sought for what you do not know just as when christ's disciples went to the graveyard seeking for him and they were asked what they should look for the living amongst the dead they were asked why they should look for the living amongst the dead you have been looking for jesus all your life have you been able to see him all the while you keep looking for god do you know him do you know that christ is poor or that god is poor do you know that the holy spirit is power no you lack the power do you ask yourself why you lack power whosoever practices the injunctions of god is endowed with power and with this power you are okay you are all right brotherhood is the hope of the world brethren let us know that god will not deceive us forever look at moses when he saw the burning bush he asked who art thou and the voice replied i am that i am go and tell pharaoh to release my people from bondage moses replied how can a small child like me stand before pharaoh to ask him to release the israelites god asked him what are you holding in your hand he answered i am holding a staff god ordered him to drop the staff on the ground when he did the staff turned to a snake moses asked god suppose i throw this staff and it turns into a snake but pharaoh refuses to comply what would i do another sign was that pharaoh and all his people were to be afflicted with plagues of diverse kind 
This goes to prove that God is power and his power has no beginning or end. Now, brother of the cross and star is the place of salvation and what explains and that explains why. If one is faced with sickness or difficulty, he will be directed to come to Brotherhood of the Cross and Star for solution. The hope of every person in the world is Brotherhood. Who are the custodians of power nowadays? Power in both heaven and earth. Who has them? Ironically, those of you in Brotherhood of the Cross and Star who do not surrender yourselves to the doctrine of God, do you have this power? Because you go to a fellow brotherhood member and bow your head before him to find solutions to your sickness so that it would be better with you. Some take you to the bush and the riverside to find solutions to your problem. You enslave yourself your wife and children to a fellow brotherhood who is not even a pastor or a prophet or a bishop and the fellow may be a new convert with such attitude does your 40 years in brotherhood of the cross and star prove anything your ability to speak the english or any other language fluently amounts to not your savings in all the banks have no meaning. Your beauty does not matter. Neither does your popularity. Brotherhood is power. The kingdom of God is power. The scripture has it. That verily, verily, I say unto you, whoever believes in the work that I do, shall he do. Even greater works shall he do because I go on to my Father. Now, Looking at the mighty works done in brotherhood, does it not show the greater works done since the creation of the world? I am a witness and you are equally a witness to these works. Ever since the world was created by God, have you witnessed this type of mighty works before? Peter and the other disciples were beheaded for saying that Christ is the Son of God. Even when Christ said he is the Son of God, he was rounded up and killed. There was no other reason for his death. It was not because he raised the dead or made the blind to see, but for saying that he is the Son of God and so has compared himself with God. But today, the reverse is the case. Here in Brotherhood, you people are shouting that Olumba, Olumba is God. By calling this name, do you hear anyone complaining or does anyone raise his head? You enter into the governor's house and declare to him that the house you are occupying belongs to God. Will you hear his voice? When you declare that you are a child of God, the people you are speaking with look at themselves and after that they move away quietly without making any utterance. Some people will say, but Olumba will die one day. Allow them to talk. After all, when Christ was alive, his disciples were not, talk, were not bold enough to profess his name. To the people and while he was being crucified all his disciples went into hiding christ did not promise those who believe in him money or car or wife or good health but he said all those who surrender themselves and believe in him shall be endowed with power the power to raise the dead to make the blind to see and heal the sick are we not doing similar works in this fall? Brotherhood is power. If you ask people from Northern Cross River State about brotherhood, they will not give you a long answer. They will, they will refer to brotherhood as Utibi, meaning 
Wonderful. Brethren, we are thankful to the Father for the revelation of this day's gospel. Even when your enemy requests for a handshake with you, and without hesitation you shake his hand, he will confirm the fact that you are a wonderful man. You will then wonder how he, how this man managed to know that you are wonderful. And before the person departs from you, he will give you a closing remark thus. Hold firm to your God for all efforts to terminate your life always result in a fiasco what i am telling you happened in he cut a basi local government area to our brother a policeman this brother has no rank he is just an ordinary policeman in the force one day the divisional police officer that is the dpo attached to the area, summoned all the paramount rulers, title chiefs, and other people, including policemen and police women, to a crucial meeting. The DPO declared to all of them that anytime they have problems with any brotherhood person, they should not go to consult native doctors or engage in anything diabolical about the person in question. He further said that juju or charm does not have any effect on them. No cutlass can cut them. If you shoot at them with gun, gunshots does not penetrate them. The DPO finally ended his warning by saying that the only solution is to use all sorts of foolish talks about them. And that explains why you see the world resorting to blackmailing the fold and her membership and they refer to Brotherhood of the Cross and Star members as bloodsuckers, as ghosts and so on. He confessed openly that the money he spent in order to eliminate the Brotherhood man in his office could have been enough to buy three lorries for him. Who in the entire world is blackmailed as such? That his wife will not run away from him. If it is your husband, he will equally abandon you. Even if you attempt to defend yourself in any way, he will not want to listen to you. When you are called murderer, that is all and your attempt to exonerate yourself from such accusation amounts to nothing. The more you try to exonerate yourself, the more you provoke others. The whole world attributes the embodied power here to that of Beelzebub, vampire apparition. But before they know it, the power swallows them. This proves to you that the kingdom of God is power. God is power. The Christ is power. What explanation are you waiting for in order to know that God is here on earth? Where would he pass through in the first place? Which work is greater than the work performed by Christ? He fell down in an attempt to carry the cross. He was crucified disgrace. There was nothing that was not done to him. He said, whosoever believes in him shall do greater works than he did. Now, tell me, which work is greater than the work he did? If you are disgraced, he was first disgraced. If you are crucified, he was first crucified. Again, he received all forms of derision in me. Which work is greater than the ones he did? Read the golden text again. Golden text, Revelation chapter 2, verses 26 to 28. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, 
To him will I give power over the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron, as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken into shivers, even as I received of my father, and I will give him the morning star. Spiritual chorus Everlasting glory, I said, everlasting glory shall await those who overcome. Brethren, the greater work which Christ did was that he was revealed as the Son of God. His disciples and Christendom attested to this fact, and that is the reason he was crucified for pro for proclaiming that he was the Son of God, Christ only revealed to the people that he was the Son of God. But if he had revealed to them that he is God, his dead body would not have been found. He only said that he is the Son of God, and the people surrounded him, saying among themselves that there was no need to wait for more evidence. For he had already, in their presence, blasphemed against God. They concluded that he deserved death for saying that he is the Son of God. Not for saying that he is God. And that was the limitation of his work. Christ said, Whosoever believes in my name, greater work shall he do. The greater work is to reveal God saying that this is God, all of you here are doing the very work which is greater than that of Christ. The whole world prevented you saying that you should not allow people to know that Christ is the Son of God. The greater work is to proclaim openly to the people without fear that this is God, that is what we receive in the golden text, that he that keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give authority over the nation. That is the authority given to all brotherhood members to rule over all nations as the vessels of the potter are broken to shiver. So shall he give you an iron rod to rule over nation. Against such authority, nothing can rear its head. God has given you the power to rule over all nations. With this authority, there is no need to go to the mountain top or under the rocks to offer prayers. The spoken words proceeding from your mouth goes a long way to perform mighty works. Immediately you speak. You see the manifestation of the word. Is that word not manifested in your midst this day? The power endowed upon the children of brothers of the cross and star is so enormous and wonderful. Only one brotherhood person can hold the whole world to ransom. Hence, use your power judiciously. When the word of God reaches the ground, it breaks mighty rocks and stands up and wrought many wonders. Brethren, our first lesson has it that Paul was desirous of power, of Christ and God. Hence, he forsook all things he had in, including his life in order, in order to attain the power. Then the second lesson has it that verily, verily I say unto you, whoever believeth in, in me, the works that I do, greater works shall he do. Those promises come because we forsook all things for his sake. He bestows all powers unto you. That is why when brotherhood says, let your yak. A lot of wonders happen immediately, conclusively. The golden text stated thus, 
and he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end will be given authority over the nations. Has the authority not been given to you now? The response is that he has given unto us the authority to go to London or India now, go to Russia or America, go to Europe or Africa, Israel, and say that juju or medicine have no power, they will not want to listen to you. Henceforth, I do not want to hear you attributing any power to Satan or apparition, because these things do not have any power. You all bear witness to the fact that whenever the Father makes a statement, such pronouncement come into manifestation immediately. That is why I do not speak carelessly. It is only love, peace and happiness that work. Love never allows ill words to proceed from your mouth. When you say, I am poor, you are poor because you have said so. If you say, I am sick, without delay sickness befalls you. If you say, I am not loved by people, it happens exactly as you proclaim, I am dead. You are dead. In my family, I am the only brotherhood. And it comes to pass in that way, power passes power on this earth. Heaven and earth is under the control of the Father. The Father uses love, he uses peace and power to rule over the world. And he has forgiven all our sins in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Father is straightening all things. Brethren, visualize this red garment on me. For those of you who come here with sickness, with need, with hypertension, with diabetes, or asthma, or AIDS, or cancer, or heart problems, and so on, right now the Father has taken them away. Wonders have happened indeed. And before I descend from this altar, many of you will start giving testimonies to attest to these facts. All things that were not straightened, the Father has straightened them. Brethren, a stroke of the cane is sufficient for the wise. Let those who have ears to hear, let them hear. May God bless his holy words. Amen. End of quote. Peace in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father.